How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. This is the QDZ waterproof speaker. It's rated at IPX6. The first digit is for solids. In this case is X, which means it's untested. The second number is a six, which means it can withstand streams of up to 0.49 inches sprayed at any direction at this thing and it will still survive. The next level would be submersion, right? So you don't want to submerge this inside a pool or anything but you can put it in the shower you have a little strap that you can tighten and secure it to whatever that you want to power plus volume minus volume and mode at the bottom there's a watertight plug if you open it you expose a USB-C charging and also a micro sd card that you can play files with now this is a five watt speaker so let's turn it on and see press and hold it and then it also has this ring that changes colors. On the back, there's a quarter inch screw, it comes with this really giant suction cup. Twist it on and you can suck it on any flat surface. To remove it, you just peel off the back right there. It has a 1200 milliamp hour battery, which is 4.4 watt hours. The speaker itself is a five watt speaker. So if you run it on full blast, it's gonna last about one hour. And this is very hard to do. Most of the time there's breaks in between your music. So it's not gonna run at five watts the entire time. It's great, it uses USB-C and we see it charges at three and a half watts. Let's turn it off and see if it charges faster. Still charging at three and a half watts. Curiously though, it does have holes in the grill. I assume if it gets in here, it would eventually leak out. If I press and hold the on button, we can start Bluetooth pairing mode. It's listed as H-O-T-T and that's paired. I'm gonna play a track here. I can feel quite a bit of vibration when it's on. Let me turn up really loud and we can hear the distortion. It gets pretty loud and you need it that way because in the shower it's pretty loud. You need it to overpower the water noise. Let's hear the music here. I think the sound quality matches its size. There used to be older Bluetooth speakers that are about this size and it won't pump out as much bass. This one has no output ports or anything, so it's completely sealed. It makes its bass just from a fully enclosed enclosure. If I squeeze around it, it feels fairly solid and that's how I can pump out those thumping bass. It's not like 300 watt thumping bass or anything, or even 100 watt. It would be slightly underpowered if you were to use this in the living room. But for let's say the shower, it's completely okay. I don't have two of these units, but they can pair in twin speaker mode. Let's check out the different light modes. Long press the positive sign for next track, long press the minus sign for previous track. Let's see the different modes. Ooh, I didn't realize it has separate LEDs over here. This is kind of like circling around a fast color changing mode, a kind of like a swirling mode, a solid blue. It kind of fades into a different color. This one is off. And now we're back to the original mode. I put a song on this micro SD card. Let's insert it. And there's a little light over here. Oh, here we go. It's playing already. So it's a very rudimentary mp3 player it's there when you need it so you don't always have to have your phone nearby it can be a standalone unit also you can pause it by pressing the on button just once and so you can just have this self-contained and put it in the shower testing out the suction cup it's a pretty smooth surface this is made out of metal but let's see if it sticks push it in here all right it'll stick to most flat surfaces by the way, you should face the bottom connector towards the bottom for most waterproofing. This is actually a wood surface, but let's see if it'll stick. It's painted wood. It looks like it's about to come off. Yeah, it'll come off eventually. So no wood painted surface. It's not smooth enough. My shower wall is actually not that smooth, so it's not going to work well on this surface, I don't think. Let's see. Nope. This is kind of like a plastic tile. Doesn't work there, but for a glass surface, it definitely will stick. So it's on there, I can play. 
You could also hang it like this. It's pretty secure with the string and the water is going to spray here and the splatter is still okay for this speaker. If you guys are interested in this product, check out my Amazon affiliate link down in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time.